A stream should be kicking in. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 22nd, 2020, and we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and more. And we've done a lot of these um, for a couple of years now. Hello, Sleepy Waves. How are you doing? First one here, yay. Reno, Mike, how are you doing? Long time no see, brother. Or sister, of course, right? But I think Mike is brother. Hello, hello, Spider-Man. I'm just going to pop out the chat here. And I'm just going to do a little intro for those that will be watching this on another platform. Um, right now, either being Bitchute or YouTube. I'm just going to make sure we're still live streaming. We had a couple of hiccups before. Uh, yo, let's go, Void. How are you doing? Skyhall 404. First time I've seen you here, I believe. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Hi, Chicho. Nice to see you again. Ah, Elks Pride Pictures. How are you doing? By the way, Elks Pride Pictures has a nice horror movie, B movie wretch look up wretch it's a nice show josie how are you doing void void did you just start or did the stream crash i just started hopefully it didn't crash nicholas how are you doing hey chicho what's up bro how's the thing things are going well i started uh, editing spy hunters number nine today <laughs> finally finally uh gang i'm just gonna do uh welcome welcome zimmy fina how are you doing bob hey everyone How's the craziness in California? I don't know. I'm in British Columbia, but I have relatives in California and I've talked to them and it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. All my favorite peeps. Chicho Knights of Old Comics. Still alive, still alive. Breathing, breathing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And um, for those of you that might be watching this video on another platform after the live stream is done, we are live streaming this on Twitch right now so you're welcome to join us for the live streams uh, when we do hold them okay i do announce the live streams on our patreon page and if you do want to support this project patreon is a fantastic way to support this project as well as uh twitch prime and following subbing and sharing and whatnot right and i do announce these live streams on twitter 30 minutes before we go live as well as gab mines elo and vk and all the links for the social media stuff will be in the description of this video and right now we're uploading these videos to youtube and bit and most likely in the future we will be uploading to other platforms as well and maybe making sure we are decentralized so with all these sensors and centralized power trying to silence voices uh, we will still have other platforms to share information and we are in the midst of a global pandemic and the main thing you have to keep in mind is flattening the curve okay do not overwhelm your health care systems wherever you are keep distance social distancing right for now irrelevant if you think this thing is real the causes of this thing what's going on if there is even the smallest percentage of this thing being as severe as some people suggest it might be don't be a gambler don't be a foolish gambler because you can gamble with many things but don't gamble with other people's lives right so no matter what you think the situation is social distancing is a good idea because it flattens the curve if this thing's for real uh, and that's a good thing to do because everybody has loved ones that are working in the healthcare industry okay so i'm just going to take these guys down and i'm going to go back to chat and we're doing a live stream on current events politics news anything right so there's a lot of chat going on so i'm definitely missed a lot of chat so i'm going to pick up 
the chat from here if there's anything that was directed towards me please let me know uh, i'm sort of just hosting and there's people having conversations between each other as well and sharing information which is a great thing and everybody that i missed that have joined the chat because i saw names popping up but i really wanted to get that intro out of the way welcome to the chat gang uh welcome to the live stream uh thank you for the subs thank you for the follows okay and thank you for being here in the conversations gina how are you doing sorry about giving you some wrong data and the uh, discord eh silly me i took the wrong column and then i thought i took the right column when i posted the second info and i went oh i took the wrong column again so i had to correct it so take those with uh you know 99 percent sure but i have to recheck okay i'm processing a lot of information right now just woke up so i'm going to lurk enjoy the lurking for a while enjoy the lurking gina martin's in town dragons how are you doing hello chicho from new zealand all the schools here just got canceled for six weeks awesome that's good but that doesn't mean you should you know people should be sitting on their ass and doing nothing very important to make sure you're still educating yourself because that's the best education you can get anyway is to educate yourself right so for sure learn and once you learn educate yourself for six weeks you might realize that you don't need a centralized institution to feed you information you can consume information at your leisure at will much more rapidly than people can force information down your throat right so we should all not head to chicho's house no not tonight <laughs> not for a bit dr p how are you doing christian martin how are you doing how's life money zw money void quebec going nuts over corona man no one really gave it attention but since last week is pure yeah which is that's the one thing that's really starting to piss me off do why aren't why aren't people why are that to me shows that people are still consuming mainstream corporate propaganda right because online there's many people who have been talking about this right saying hey gang <laughs> take a look at the numbers take a look at what's going on there's something going on you know be be aware be aware and all of a sudden you see people freaking out it's like what the that's what it's indicating to me which is very unfortunate quantum kick quantum kick how are you doing mytherian hi people could it be that i found a chill place to wait for my beard <laughs> for sure why not so do you have any hoarding problems in canada yeah uh, yeah reno uh from what i understand flour is being sold out everywhere right two days ago we were at a farmer's market and we grabbed some supplies and i came home i said you know they had a lot of flour big five and it's local flowers their own flour that they made right they had five pound bags like a section with five pound bags and i went you know what i should have grabbed one of those five pound bags and went to get <laughs> get one and it was the last one there so it was like whoa trippy chicho do you think the situation will calm down in three weeks no uh, and by the way it depends where you are by the way in canada the united states is just picking up if we believe what's coming out of china is quieting down if we believe what's coming out of korea is quieting down. so there might be certain places as quieting down so think of this as a as a hurricane right as a storm as a wave that's sweeping across right is this the big big wave is this the the full-on force or is there another one coming or is this a cyclic thing that's going to happen every season right so this is what we really have to start thinking about this seems to have been the longest week of my life and it's only been one week <laughs> always be making for me it's going pretty fast like i can't uh, i can't even keep up with uh everything that i want to do welcome mytherian you need it you, you indeed found the chill stream awesome huckleberry win how are you doing high schoolers high schoolers from ohio and the states here governor just signed an order making everyone stay inside for anything but emergencies till the sixth of the month six of next month so it must be emergencies and food right i think food is considered uh, emergency that's what the general consensus is right i have a stack of russian literature i plan on reading in the coming weeks month nice dragons 
I, the Russian literature is supposed to be absolutely amazing, right? My pub is closed for a while now. Yeah, Martin. I, unfortunately, here things in Vancouver, things are still like the people that are living in our same complex. They're having a gathering right now, which is a silly thing to do, in my opinion, right? We're keeping our social distance. Thought you should know that the math problem from yesterday's stream started a long math conversation with my dad. I got a way better understanding of the problem afterwards. Nice, nice, Bob. That's the two horses or the ho horse the feeding half the area and the two horses sharing, right? The solution that uh, a couple of people provided seems so simple. I was thinking way too complicated because I always like to solve things. I, I don't like thinking in too abstract of terms. Uh, except uh, unless I'm thinking down possibilities, right? Very cool, very cool solutions. In my country, lessons go on through Discord for teens and the Ministry of Education plat uh, platform for young. Uh, Mithurian, where are you from? Which country? Quite the opposite, unfortunately. Ch -ch -ch. Wow, I'm going to scroll down again just in case I'm missing some stuff. So I'm going all the way down again people is make a schedule to padre padre i'm gonna allow that what's up something was held from padre padre uh, the auto mod didn't like something so i had to scroll down gang my apologies uh, just want to make sure we're uh, keeping track uh, there seems to be a lot of mods here so we should be good uh, i just want to make sure we're on top of things and if there's anything directed towards me please let me know highlighted or something when i scroll down i can see it oh you're based in france okay uh, canada is not as advanced like i i'm still teaching with students online but majority of kids parents they don't they're not sure what to do with the kids luckily we're in spring break but they'll have to figure it out i've been self-isolating due to an illness this past year and the one piece of advice to people is make a schedule so you don't just oops so you don't just uh, sit on your ass and you can learn something pick up skills a great advice padre chicho tonight is in new york city they are about to send the national guard we peak 10,000 cases today yeah sleepy waves i've been tracking it i've been tracking down in california i've seen the soldiers and stuff going in all right proof quinn oc oce couldn't have said it better chicho been watching all your videos and they really gave me a word for all the pro uh, word for all the problems i have with school specifically with math as as well which is poorly taught there the time zone difference sucks so i haven't been able to watch your stream oh i'm sorry quinn let me know go to our discord and let me know what times work best for you uh, and this goes for everyone by the way and make it my time zone pdt on pacific west coast california washington oregon bc alaska time well i don't know if alaska goes one more or not but bc time zone let me know what type of stream you want according to my time right and i'll try my best to get it done right especially the math right I'm just gonna ride out and do lots of push-ups yeah i've been doing exercises i'm gonna do a stream probably in a couple of weeks showing you guys my exercise routine too okay saucy rossi how you doing hey chicho have you looked at the exponential growth for different countries infected rate uh graphed out uh by second week for april us is looking at a million plus i looked at a little bit i haven't crushed them myself i look at some of the other ones that people have been you know i'm finding online people have been supplying now they're a little generic i find them a little too busy so i will you know we're gonna do a covid 19 live stream april 1st monday i believe or tuesday uh so april 1st we're doing a follow-up on all the stuff we did regarding covid 19 with the data so we're gonna have that much more data and a couple of more columns so i'm just gonna continuously keep on adding graphs to it right uh, but i haven't separated the countries yet i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it by april by the next stream but from what i've seen the us is not looking good and the way they're dealing with it is not looking good right and partially due to the states federal government the healthcare system collapsing partially in a huge 
uh, responsibility lays on the people that aren't taking it seriously, right? Because people like to feel invincible, right? Like a couple of days ago, we were walking around our neighborhood, right? Me and my partner, right? And some people when were walking on the sidewalk. If they're coming this way, we go this way or they go that way. So they were aware, keeping social distancing. When we're coming across an intersection, when we were walking, some people were aware and either we would stop and let them go or they would stop and we would go, right? But we went to places, went to a basketball court and all the hoops were filled and people were playing basketball, some people with their shirts off, right? Not the best idea in the world. Not the best idea in the world. Irrelevant if you think, this is as severe as they're saying or not, right? It, there's definitely something going around. So all those people playing basketball and stuff, they must not care very much about their older people in the family or anyone that's elderly in their family or immune compromised in their family or anybody else in their society. They must be some of the most dumbasses <laughs> dumbass people you ever seen in your life or some of the most selfish people you ever seen in your life and that is a byproduct of a current education system right because they are a byproduct of a current education system which has bred them to be in i don't know what do you call them i just i think i just called them a few words but <laughs> I could use harsher words, but I can't because we're on certain platforms, right? Do we call them dinglings, right? Saucy Rossi, hi. Have you looked at the exponential? Oh, okay. We just I just read that. Uh, when a virus mutates, does it get stronger or it loses some of the virus uh, properties? It could get void. It could get stronger or weaker. It could go both directions. And from what I understand, there's possibly three different strains of this right now. Okay. It was a reference to the sitting on your glutinous maximus. <laughs> nice. Medical students. Oh, okay. I'm scrolling down to see if there's anything directed towards me. Slip waves. Do you have any videos in stats? I have tried to graph the coronavirus data from my local uh, borough. Um, I've got a few videos on graphs. Uh, statistics we've done some live streams if you do a chicho stats or probability some videos will come up but if you're trying to graph them you don't need probability you just need graphing abilities right so you're not looking for stats sleepy wave if you're looking you're looking for what we've been doing right because we really haven't done too much of the stats that we plan on doing to create the math videos right to module to create a module to teach statistics using COVID-19 data. That's going to take me a while to do, right? We're just at the beginning stages of collecting data and building up the library and the different graphs we're going to look at, right? So you don't need statistics. Statistics is data analysis. What you want to do is get a visual of what's happening, right? Because as soon as you graph it, like, it'll give you a really good idea of what's taking place, right? So you're more concerned about what's going on in real time. You don't want to look at it in the past tense, right? So graphing is just the X, Y axis, right? And for me, I do have videos on that. If you PM me on uh, Discord, I'll uh, find a couple of videos for you. You just want to be able to graph on an X, Y axis, right? If you know how to use a spreadsheet, you just put them in a spreadsheet and graph them away. And at some point, when I get the time, I want to find an open source spreadsheet uh, a site where I can just load on these tables uh, these this data so you guys can play play around with it as well I just haven't had the time to put it in and I know someone I forget who it was recommended uh, a site to do this with um, I just looked at it briefly you have to load on some stuff I believe and that was gonna be too complicated for me I don't want to do it on Google because Google censoring Google delete stuff Google is not responsible Google is not reliable Google is not trustworthy so I am definitely staying away from any platforms that Google or any of these large corporations uh, are hosting right we can't rely on that it has to be open source it has to be non corporate non censored Okay, because you can crush the numbers in different ways, right? 20% plus unemployment in the U.S. in the next two months. Uh, yeah, Saucy, Rossi, probably be more than 20%, right? 
That's my guess. I'm scrolling down the gang. I go off on tangents, so. Chicho. Apache Open Office. Apache Open Office? That's a good spreadsheet? Uh, Araf, if, you, if you're on our Discord, if you could post us on our Discord, that'd be fantastic. I'll look into it. I'm going to go to, a, I'm just going to pin it on a, as a book, bookmark and try to uh, try to look into this. There's a few promises that I made uh, regarding making videos and whatnot. So I'm trying to catch up on my promises with people um, as well as roll out a few things. Uh, so I'll look into it uh, as soon as I can. I have noticed in my area, UK, that there is a lot of crazies around now. Yeah, Martin, there's a lot of crazies around here too. Everybody, okay, I'm gonna skip the ones that people are talking to each other. If you did playing uh, CSV files, then people can open it in the spreadsheet software. Um, yeah, yeah, we could do CSV files, I guess, but we have to, how do I how do I make it real time access when I change something it sees it real time if we do CSV I just have to upload them every you know every time I make one I have to upload it and that's just becomes extra work and people don't see the stuff in real time and if I fall behind then um, then becomes a problem and I'd like to create a table and make it nice because what I found you know if you make a table pretty people can see the data better <laughs> right catholic traditionists how are you doing i tend to assume ignorance rather than malice when i observe bad behavior for sure part of our education system a lot of those individuals insisting on hooping it up during this crisis have a terribly underdeveloped sense of their own mortality and the broader consequences of their actions agreed agreed i'm being harsh by the way I'm one of the reasons just to let you know one of the reasons I'm being harsh is because my partner is a nurse so I'm seeing and I we have friends that are nurses so I'm getting the full force of the stress not the full force but I'm seeing the full force of the stress that they are on right the hell I can honestly tell you gang I don't care where you are the health workers in your country are scared shitless okay and they are doing their best to make sure that people don't die right they can take care of as many people as possible be considerate be considerate this is what you need to do be considerate flatten the curve social distancing is a good thing i don't care what you think this is what its origins are who started it where it came from where it's going or anything like this Healthcare systems in multiple countries have are completely overloaded, right? Some have collapsed. You don't want to be in those regions, and you should do your best to try to make sure that doesn't happen to where you are. Okay. Is that enough? Is that enough preaching for me? Da, 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 da. Chicho, it's not you being slow to read uh, comments, bro. You have 73 viewers. <laughs> Thanks, Lincoln. This, this thing's kicking up. This thing's kicking up. Oops, I opened the wrong thing. Let me close that guy. Welcome, everyone, by the way. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. And for those of you here, here, here's where we're active, and I'll have links in the description of video once this thing is loaded onto YouTube and BitChute, and we do announce these on Twitter, and we're live streaming on Twitch. And if you want to support this project, it's Chicho. Okay, Patreon is a great way to do it, or subscribing, following, and don't forget, flatten the curve, flatten the curve, flatten the curve. Okay, I'm gonna get back to chat. It's enough preaching for me. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to or see if there's anything directed towards me. Uh, kudos to your partner. She's probably struggling. There's a lot and a lot of healthcare industries uh, having a hard time, man. As a husband of an in immunocompromised spouse, I understand your harshness. Yeah. Yes. My cousin is an ICU nurse. Awesome. 
more power to them right hopefully there is there are positives coming out of this hello x how are you doing there are positives coming from this right people finally understand how important it is that you have a healthcare system that does not collapse under the the minutest of pressures if people consider this thing to be minute is collapsing under this type of pressure just imagine if there's even more serious stuff than this right so hopefully people will begin to appreciate uh, that there is a social net that needs to be established in your countries are you free market economists or do you believe in government intervention i i do not like centralization of power it is it corrupts okay uh, million our first doctor fighting covid died this afternoon oh 80 percent of medical personnel being tested because of symptoms has a have a positive but they still continue working yeah 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 it's crazy people for some reason it's, it's not registering with people <laughs> weird knights of old comics can you do a top 10 things to help uh with work teach from home so long uh no essentials knights of old can you post this in our discord i'll be happy to because i've been working i've been independently working almost my whole life i've been a contractor my whole life so i i see all around me people all of a sudden no job no this no this no this no this those of you who've been following our live streams on youtube uh, not on youtube on twitch right not the videos on youtube because we've talked about this previously for a number of years right but on the live streams on twitch that we're doing right now one thing i've been saying for the last couple of years i guess and we did this for the videos for personal finance and economics and stuff in the coming age in this coming cycle it is extremely important to decentralize yourself okay that means one of the things it really means means that you have to have multiple streams of revenue so that you remain anti-fragile okay anti-fragile means something from uh, you'll read it you'll find it in this right okay read this book nasim nicholas talib skin in the game right skin in the game is very important right but one of the concepts that nasim nicholas talib has written about um aside from black swan and stuff like this that we're seeing right now he coined the term anti-fragile what you want to make sure is not that you're solid as a rock but you're something that bruce lee mentioned be like water right paraphrasing someone else be like water be like the you know the grass that bends don't be a solid tree that breaks and all that jazz it's been it's a saying throughout human history right but become anti-fragile because right now what's happening is a lot of people are losing their main source of income or their only source of income and they didn't have a major buffer that they could sit on right and we've talked a lot about this that you have to build up your funds make sure you can uh, sustain yourself minimum for six months build enough capital sit on cash how many times do we say sit on cash right but what you need to do is become anti-fragile start looking into places where you can generate a little bit of income here a little bit of income here a little bit of income here a little bit of income locally a little bit of income nationally a little bit of income internationally if you can right you have to have a presence online if you do not have a presence online you're being silly okay so i don't know i probably that's probably one thing but nights of old if you post it on discord i'll try to put something together a video for it chicho i want for my first walk i went for my first walk countryside walk 10 miles nice martin awesome awesome did you put on music Ch -ch -ch -ch. Did you put on music or solo sometimes i do music sometimes i'm just listening to nature or city or whatever it is right the walks are amazing hey brother i'm practicing slow stockpiling every four days i'm getting more and more non-perishables cool i see a depression on the horizon which will lead to a shortage and other sad things obviously look and here's another thing that should be a positive thing that should happen in our societies okay one thing that should happen 
we talked about it the healthcare systems need to be improved greatly right so people will most start caring about this the other thing is localize your food right there should be community gardens people should be growing food in their houses in the gardens and they should be planting fruit trees you should be canning you should be um, jarring right so here for example it, like if you're new here you know i usually have snacks here and stuff like this here's my snack for today right a couple of days ago we went to the farmer's market and they had apples older apples big bag of apples really cheap right they were older right they were 350 canadian so for us watchers that'd be like 250 us or 275 us 250 us for a big bag of apples i ate some of them you saw some me eating some with the peanut butter and they were getting a little bit a little bit older right for a couple of days i ate some of them and what i did today is make applesauce right and then i put a cinnamon stick in it and i have tea with cinnamon stick that was cook some applesauce and it makes like delicious food it's a nice drink and the applesauce is amazing right and i made three jars of this right and phenomenal healthy you made it yourself you know how much you have you acquired the tools to prepare prepare food for yourself so you can have a pantry and have food and whatnot right build up your buffers extremely important extremely important unbelievable that the u.s is still holding iran under sanctions disgusting sleepy waves unbelievable right the world will never forget this right quinn chicho this centralized education is completely absurd for years i have been pushing my teacher to try to teach me more i ace all my english social studies math and science and have so for many years i have repeatedly asked my teacher to teach me something and all they say is that they are only allowed to teach the curriculum exactly you are taught based on the average kid um, not oneself despite having a whole classes full of students who are consistently acing things in each subject it's absurd it is 100 percent absurd and i can tell you from my end proactive parents right and students as well i've worked with a lot of students where they might be in grade eight or nine and i'm teaching them grade 12 mathematics right because the system is not going to teach them so they hire me to teach them much faster than the centralized education system is teaching them right not a bad thing do not rely on centralized education systems to uh, educate the youth saucy rossi thank you very much for the twitch prime sub i'm going to scroll and see if there's anything directed towards me do you have more books for diversifying revenue streams i'm trying but i'm not sure what the choices are um always be making i don't i've never really read anything regarding diversifying your revenue stream it's just something i've learned over the last how many years i've been working i don't know 30 years of working right over the last 30 years of working i've learned to diversify diversify my revenue streams it's just it's just the way it is right i it's just life experience i guess okay i'm down at the bottom of the of the chat gang i have to scroll down okay uh, i was just watching for things directed towards me not taking uh not taking much into uh, let's check this out coolio how you doing not talking much because it's midnight here and i'm falling asleep but got to have my man chicho in the background so my subconscious stays informed when i fall asleep nice coolio by the way sleep learning works how many calories does one of your uh cans have i don't know calorie density should always be considered when stockpiling for um cry rodillion cry rodillion uh cyrodillion uh Cairo 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 uh, Cairo Dillian Cairo I agreed however this right now is sweet and it's apples only and lemon a little bit of lemon right we do have different things that have high food density so for sure you have to keep all that in mind 
Quinn, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. I would your honor hire you 100 percent thanks Quinn. some of the rumors about COVID are so dumb they are some of the uh, knights of comics so dumb some could be legitimate right even like i've i've gone down a few rabbit holes right uh rightfully so you need to go down those rabbit holes some people because they they believe in this this concept of it they say oh i don't believe in social distancing they're being silly okay they're lost in their own loop those types of people are called fanatics right stay away from fanatics bad idea what rumors there's so many saucy rossi there's a lot jumped in the discord in the education channel nice thank you always be making thanks so much for the sub yeah for sure thank you for thanking them spider-man and the follows of course consider yourself higher to you you can't forget your vitamins and amino yeah amino acids for example beef tallow beef tallow is calorie dense beef tallow i don't know what tallow is but probably not good to subset entirely on that beef tallow is that the bone marrow bone marrow i bought uh anyway beef ta tallow i don't know what beef tallow is like eating bananas will prevent it bananas is good i got 14 days before uh i broke my cider fest oh that's not bad but these are bad times and i need my uh security blanket martin dude <laughs> we're in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> i think uh you're okay indulging yourself the during in times of high stress is not the best idea to cut yourself off of something that has been a part of your life for a long time right weaning off is is not a bad thing right i don't necessarily believe in cold turkey not frank castle not frank castle you're not the punisher hello chicho are you a fan of the punisher i am indeed i am indeed are you a personal jesus no have you heard of uh, malaria medicine as a treatment I, i've heard some you know names of this and names of that and stuff like this i haven't paid too much attention to it personally my favorite rumor is the is that kim wexler from better call saul is windy from breaking bad i stopped watching better call saul after the first season this is one and a half seasons anyway really good show i will catch up to it at some point beef tallow is is shelf stable fat ah okay isn't it best to trick people into doing the right thing no evil hope because at some point whoever you're tricking for them to do the right thing at some point they'd be tricked by someone else to do the wrong thing right so why it doesn't make sense education is the best 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 way forward sass how are you doing do you think we way underestimated our students i feel like 10 year years old are way more capable oh for sure for sure capable and wanting to learn and explore than our system like oh 100 there's no doubt i was homeschooled and from the day that i knew what i wanted to do i was able to start working towards that because the system that i was in allowed me to explore my passions and interests yeah 100 i agree with you there's no doubt right the system the centralized education system some people say intentionally some people say by incompetence some people say it's by design some people whatever you want to think about it it is i can't we use that word on twitch r e t a r r e d ing our students holding them back right like really that's a legitimate word to use but we're not allowed to use it on <laughs> on chat which is crazy <laughs> right intelligent blueberry how are you doing hate how this pandemic is closing so many places down uh, like i'm in serious oral pain and all dentists are closing in Toronto. oh no way there must be um i know if you had dental pain intelligent blueberry um in the past before when the pandemic wasn't in play in bc if you went to emergency they took care of you right because they because dental problems could 
lead to way more complicated stuff so i would say intelligent blueberry call if it's really bad the system is going to be overloaded but it's important to take care of the teeth right because those could lead into if there's infection and stuff it could be pro seriously problematic maybe call the hospital and see if there's um, they have any in-house dentists or oral surgeons or anything like this that are still operational to take care of it okay absolutely uh, kids are hardwired for learning but that gets beaten out of them in elementary school yeah only one small study for malaria medicine from france and it's all anecdotal yeah there there isn't enough time hasn't passed so what's better an incompetent ruler or a dishonest one i no ruler i don't i don't want to be ruled over by anybody genuine conviction is a is a much stronger incentive than compulsion of the uh, to do the right thing yeah how often is violence the answer evil hope to evil to hope i find it sad that when i was seven or eight years old i knew more than some people who uh, who are my who are my old my age rtd for short rtd i don't know what rtd stands for martin what's rtd there's a common saying here about our 19th century education system quote we got to change the dna of our education system end quote i always correct that it's rna rna spider-man thank you for the twitch prime sub i appreciate it uh da, 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 da. Go ahead and read. <laughs> oh rtd ah i'm gonna allow that thanks rtd yeah rtding our kids <laughs> weird <laughs> yeah someone i knew died because they had dental pain and it was christmas eve so she decided not to go and died of died of because of the infection got in the blood yeah yeah dental stuff is is important contact uh blueberry intelligent blueberry contact the hospitals right just realized my sub ran out haha <laughs> nice spider-man i need the sub martin that word you spelt out oh okay yeah 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 i'm slow on the uptakes on the short words void Ooh. void i think you're that might be you trying to submit a link it doesn't uh, work uh with submitting links i know all the short codes code coded words do you martin how come people don't use it in the pub do they rna is like the primitive form of dna oh rna okay in case it flew over anyone so rna is just a primitive version of dna i didn't know that i've heard of rna Whew. crazy stuff going on eh oh by the way what's anybody's guess uh people's guess of tomorrow with the markets bloodbath or celebration if i was betting man which i am i bet it's going to be a bloodbath chicho you're definitely helped me lower my blood pressure nice awesome <laughs> saucy rossi <laughs> hell <good. laughs> it's like i don't know definitely bloodbath frozen fish potato yeah that's my guess my guess a few weeks ago was the dow was going to drop 10 10 000, right like we're talking with someone and uh, my guess you know all puts i mentioned this for a while now i've been saying all puts right but my target was going to drop ten thousand. my guess was in a week it took two three weeks uh right now i got a couple of other markers but it could be going up who knows it's all fixed anyway are street drugs a good way to solve depression no i wouldn't do it evil evil hope bloodbath saucy says rna is a single strain copy of dna used to reproduce dna ah okay so it's when the dna splits right splits and then boop. is that what it is big hunky boys nice nice name 
think it'll be a relief week but blood later okay bear stock 64 senator in u.s got coronavirus so blood <laughs> was that one of them that intentionally was uh, diagnosed with covid 19 because the guy liquidated his stocks uh, a few weeks before <laughs> the announcements hit the hit the thing i'm a master of codes codes and ciphers it's a hobby serious martin really that's a crazy hobby that's crazy interesting hobby really that's cool am i evil for wanting to see bad things happen to the global population um it's your it's your right to think if you want to have bad things but you have to keep in mind uh, you are part of the global population so if you want bad things to happen to the global population then you're a sadist <laughs> So I don't, is it a sadist masochist or whatever it is you want bad things to happen to you for me i oh Rand paul yeah 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 i heard about Rand paul actually yeah bloodbath mainly because the u.s senate didn't pass relief package today oh they didn't do it it was held up by the democrats so it's not eh? what a, the whole thing is a joke 200 million will likely die in a direct way to the uh Coronavirus. I I doubt that. Rampa got it somehow. He was showing no symptoms from what they said, but he was able to get a test somehow anyway. Even though they say uh, they are saying there's shortage, and only people with symptoms should be getting tested. It could have been that uh, what do you call it? He was in close contact with someone that had tested positive, right? that's larger than uh, I think but sadly possible on on a worst case scenario 200 million but I think evil evil hope is just trolling a little bit just playing what if the Senate shuts down before they make something uh, that's that's bad they'll they'll pass it with decree or something whatever it's called executive orders goodbye Kenny Rogers Kenny Rogers no Kenny Rogers did he pass away or does he have COVID US politics under entertainment division of the military industrial complex Wabin pretty much agree absolutely right Huckleberry Wynn says the slowdown in my town has literally made the air cleaner and it's really nice yeah I've heard that too I'm coming out of China and whatnot but people are also really hurting already which is really if if the conscience of people change because of this that's a huge positive right yeah rest in peace kenny rogers oh no kenny rogers passed away Rand paul has traveled extensively recently including to areas that are designated high risk that is the pur purported uh, reason for him uh, being tested yeah and he is and he is congress and he goes to congress so you don't want the government even however obtuse and incompetent they are you don't want all of them to get sick because well maybe you do i don't know but it it's sort of reasonable to test them if he's done that right i'm pretty sure that was a uh, frank zappa cover rest in peace kenny rogers oh no finally cashed in finally cashed in the gambler i used to like that song i still do like that song there's a peer i listened to kenny rogers and dolly parton the duo duo album they put out no when to hold them no when to fold them no when to walk away no when to run you never count your money when you're sitting at the table there'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done <laughs> it's a more gambling cover so so far we've done a system of a down and a kenny rogers one right i mean god not cover I don't fault higher up government officials getting tested i don't think they should get special treatment for much but need to know who can do their job yeah the gambler is awesome so good so good 
as in crowd coward of the country great song coward of the oh yeah the coward of the country coward of the county yeah 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 so good uh, to my teacher and so saw cover collection coolio <laughs> you got to know what to throw away what to keep yeah nice mouse over the clip button wow but kenny rogers and dolly is great great stuff kenny rogers is more uh next to some hip-hop oh hip-hop i gotta get my lyrics down hip-hop hip-hop what do i know what do i know i can't jump from one to the other it has to come to me uh right now i'm uh, listening to a lot of memphis rap triple six mafia so i'm i'm deciphering some of their lyrics and it's rapid so good so good there's uh there's one album that i uh, memorized all the lyrics for is a biggie but it was uh, uh tupac uh, uh, biggie smalls right uh and it was uh biggie and frank frank sinatra mix and as far as a mashup album goes a biggie and frank sinatra is uh, absolutely amazing really not that biggie by itself is not amazing but that was really good i'll try to think of some hip-hop um oh, i'll have to think about it i won't be horribly upset about it if i like 75 percent of cause cause covid they're nasty people man wu-tang and neck like, wu-tang Wu -Tang. i've seen some of the wu-tang some of the gang rizza i totally insulted rap but called it no oh my god on on discord when you link something on the political channel no, 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 no very bad very bad you should see by the way you go to our discord on contact just put out uh chris hedges from on contact he did an interview with a with a guy who had who has written a book with someone else co-authored a book about how the united states uh policing and judicial system is taking uh independent rap artists like people who are rapping they're trying to make it right they're taking rap artists taking their lyrics right and taking them to court and saying this is for real and they're throwing people in jail for years right sometimes they're throwing people in jail because they've written down the lyrics of different artists watch that interview very important interview right uh so yeah and rap man uh <laughs> fat john there's a lyric with fat john that did it with new jabaz disrespect hip-hop and i'll spit in your face right and 100 percent man fat john said it right in that mix with uh, new jabaz right are you asking Shijo to bring the ruckus <laughs> three six mafia so good so good i feel uh, an spm man south park mexican one of the greatest rappers ever superior trash talking rap i feel quite superior trash talking. a woman you can you can trash talk whatever you want brother but we don't have to agree with you <laughs> like i said disrespect hip-hop and i'll spit in your face <laughs> of course bring on the motherfucking rockets parents just don't understand the 80 billion dollar that would be required to have uh, free tuition at public college and universities in america is starting to look like a really small number very much so rap can be great music can be amazing music that's the serious conclusion okay i'm gonna scroll down just to catch up deltron 3030 i saw wu-tang live nice been watching a lot of old kung fu nice wu-tang movies lately definitely in wu-tang mode nice two-pack only god can judge me now yeah nice i love de la soul so much wu-tang is forever <laughs> how does it go <laughs> i forget how it goes man <laughs> knights of old comics thank you very much for the twitch prime sub man what are the lyrics that i, I can't remember thank you so much nice of old comics yeah for sure for sure the asmr version of turn down for what turn up for what which one is that one turn down for what gina who did that one i don't know that one or it doesn't ring a bell for me right now there's some man there's a few artists that have looped 
Big Al, man. Oh my God. Listen to Big Al. Listen to Big Pun. Listen to Big Pun. Right? Listen to Dead Press, man. I saw Dead Press. Nice, nice, nice. I am watching, uh, catching up on uh, so much TV at the moment. Yeah, a lot of people are catching a lot of different, uh, different shows and stuff. For me, for some reason, my consumption of stuff has reduced just because I, mean, I guess I'm doing a lot of things in the background. And we've got a few streams we've got to take care of, right? Much dala is dope. Much dala is dope too. Yeah, wow, man, I forget. Uh, oh, there's so many amazing rap artists, man. I believe it was Little John and DJ Shake. Little John and DJ K. Della Soul is, is so good though. Uh, but Dell is one of the greatest. Ch -ch -ch. 93 till infinity bro most people are catching up on fox oh no i hope not dead president to represent me nice little john music video is hilarious after u.s elections some uh theorists said world system might change to digital yeah the currency yeah possibly i've also read some stuff regarding gold coming in and but there's a lot of rumors going around all over the place souls of mischief is fantastic and all that the immortal technique immortal technique i used to know some of the immortal technique the full lyrics on them right dance with the devil oh man what a oof, what a crazy song what a crazy song right what are you guys snacking on i got my own homemade applesauce that i just made today very good Jedi mind tricks is fantastic as well by the way Jedi mind tricks is super good oh it's just digital electoral system yeah for sure there should be there should be paper ballast there should be a, a paper trail it might be worth it for big countries that are very spread popular density wise but in a country like mine three million people most no digital right now there's digital voting in the united states is proprietary software and it's a scam right reducing human population by 500 million for stabilizing the world and you're talking about the guide stones right Exterminate class religion to create a new one. The Georgia Guidestones. I think Georgia Guidestones. Music stream is a few in a few months. Music stream in a few. Pretzel. Nothing exciting. Pretzel. You're eating pret pretzels. Not bad. Oh man, now I'm craving something salty. Uruguay. Wabin. Snacking on dark chocolate. Nice and single malt, malt scotch. Ooh, that sounds fantastic nice what that's some eco-fascist nicholas thank you very much for the twitch prime sub appreciate it great choices right there Ch -ch -ch. well election in the u.s are a scam yeah no shit Ch -ch -ch. Woo -woo -woo. coconut water you're drinking coconut water nice that's super refreshing but it beats um, it beats paying taxes to cover for Harry and Megan's security detail. Yeah, they're moving. They're supposed to be moving to near where we are, right? So will the world come back to something normal uh, near May? Near May? No. Midsummer? Mm. Midsummer, people are going to come out of the woodworks or further, further. Okay. Uh, void uh, the, we're not going to go back to how things were pre this there are important events that have taken place in the world right jfk assassination being one of them the world was different after that right um berlin wall different right 9 11 different 2008 collapse different covid 19 different is it we're we're in a paradigm shift right things are going to change up adjust your life accordingly 
decentralize yourself have multiple streams of revenue coming in make sure you have food security within your communities okay make sure your health care system is not functioning at a hundred percent all the time because in Canada our healthcare system was functioning at 120 percent all the time just imagine what is happening to it right now with a wave of pressure coming in right hopefully there will be a serious paradigm shift to the positive eco-fascist is part of pretty much any fascism is part of, pretty messed up yep georgia guidestones and non-political group that controlling states dry roasted nuts and cans of cider <laughs> salty and <laughs> martin <laughs> do i miss those days i do i do you i'd be a liar if i said i didn't uh, but but there are amazing days to be had outside of that right thank you very much for the hosting and the follows and the subs gang okay and the conversations of course da, 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 da. killing people is not fascism uh killing people is called murder <laughs> Uh, that's the definition i put it on regardless it's kind of messed up i think you'd be you'd have to agree da, 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 i don't know that that ain't before chicho gets a phone call to tutor their kids what's your religion yellow claw fever what's my religion i, I don't believe in centralized institutions you can ask me that question in a different way yellow claw fever i'll answer it but that's like saying i don't know <laughs> it's like i don't know what that's like it's like asking me what isms i believe communism killed more pop, 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 pop. democracy too i do believe the system they closed down my church yeah they're closing down churches it, any place that you're multiple people are congregating is a good idea to close down man i don't care if it's for your religious place education place health place whatever it is right chicho knights of old comics chicho do you think it's true that harvey weinstein has go i don't know i even haven't even heard it right if you see him disappear and he hangs himself uh you know he's chilling on a beach with epstein right pick your poison reducing the and maxwell right population development bah, 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 bah. all libraries are closed in Marnia for sure yeah here oh, are they close here i think they're close here too they should be i like your response thanks yellow claw fever is it like asking what color under garments yeah <laughs> luckily i can escape the craziness of the world in a spider-man comic book. dude i saw the boxes of spider-man comics yeah they're all spider-man eh that's cool we should move towards a federation and be like star trek do you guys feel like <laughs> what if palpatine is behind all of this <laughs> it's not a palpatine i don't know what that is do you guys feel like capital punishment is never appropriate uh, i disagree I, capital punishment is it's centralized states man dude the centralized state in the united states these prosecutors are putting young rap artists in jail for writing lyrics of other rap, rap artists on paper do you really trust the centralized authority to execute people dude that's like that's rdt is rdc what's that abbreviation <laughs> i broke out my batman like batman's too nice what was your favorite spider-man run spider-man what's your favorite spider-man run oh dol i'm gonna oh nice thanks spider-man thanks nicholas i was gonna time him out as well actually i was gonna ban him 
I watched your Spider-Man video recently. Man, I hope I get lucky with Amazing Flight Issue. I need... Oh, dude. Yeah, I wish. I wish I had that money to buy it when I was a student, right? U.S. is Mideast with fake ethics. U.S. is Mideast with fake ethics. Possibly, yeah. So happy my dad just bought some weights so we can still work out in the corn. Yeah, all the gyms are closed in my area right all the physiotherapists are closed massage therapists are closed chiropractors are closed they're all closed held a message for child rapists right let's say like a serial or what? a woman i'm not gonna allow it because i don't want to think about those things but you tell me here woman let me ask you this do you believe, believe in capital punishment for epstein right that's what you should say ask ask the chat hey chat do you think capital punishment should be reserved for people like epstein that's what you can ask who is ronald reagan he was the president of the united states us all being in a simulation is very possible possible superior spider-man cash clover superior spider-man is your favorite spider-man run really cool Ultimate Spider-Man by Bendes. Really, that's your favorite Spider-Man. Nice, nice. Those are both highly recommended. I'm envious of you. Uh, of you. I've been doing nothing but body weight exercises. Body weight is good, but you do need a little bit of dumbbells. Those little. I just have five pounders right now. I'm getting coming out of injuries and whatnot, and slowly. But even five pounders and bands are good, right? Body weight is fantastic, right? Hi, how are you? Jess, Jess, Jumisiontos. Jess, how are you doing? We're doing well. Wait a second. Who's the, who's the I told, uh, dude, you got duck, duck, go for that. Just take that sentence and punch it in duck, duck, go, and people will know. Right? Has anyone heard about North Korea being in contact with, uh, being in contact with North Korea? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's there too, better than than some extra judicial force suicide. Yeah, woman, I would tend to agree with you. Suicide. We have like this outdoor band. Da, 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 da. McFarland Spider Man. The artwork was fantastic, right? And that's amazing Spider Man, right? Not the Spider Man uh, Torment series that I got. Even Torment one was good. The artwork was fantastic. The writing wasn't that great. But it built up like a slow mo movie. I read 1 to 50 Ultimate Spider Man. Great. But the Ditko runs the best for me. How oh, old school. I know it's not a perfect series, but that's the series I grew up on. So it means a lot. Yeah. It came out while I was the perfect age. I was like, oh, awesome, Spider-Man. And that 100% legit. That could be your favorite run, right? Quinn, I'm 14, so I'm keeping it uh, light anyway. I'm going to miss the leg machines, though. Yeah, yeah, Quinn, don't go too heavy. If you're young, you don't want to go crazy heavy weights on you. That's going to hurt. That's going to affect your joints right what you want to do when you're younger is build up the muscles and just doing reps build up some builds up the muscles and if you're going to do heavy weights i'm not a physical fitness trainer or anything like this do one or two with the heavy ones just to burn off the rest right and then make sure you're hitting if you're doing weights make sure you're consuming a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbs walnuts almonds actually almonds and dates is a great combination during the workout okay what jesus da, 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 da. i'm gonna scroll down a little bit gang just to see if there's anything directed towards me uh, so i'm gonna go down to the chat number one ultimate spider-man first print is worth 200 wow 9.6 cg is great i have it awesome spider-man awesome the prices of some of the comics might be dropping heads up right might be an amazing opportunity to buy if you're into buying if you got the funds to buy right what do you recommend buying eating before a workout uh before a workout the night before you might want to do some carbs if you're going to do um what do you call it uh cardio right because that gives you extra energy right before a workout i i wouldn't say go heavy i would say go light 
right so don't consume too much right before a workout you might want to eat some protein and stuff just to have the protein in your system right but during the workout it's a good idea to have some protein and some carbs and fast delivering carbs right you want the protein to be consumed and what delivers the protein to your muscles is the carb right so almonds i used to have almonds and dates that was a combination i used to have I, and walnuts i switched it up between almonds and walnuts almonds and walnuts and dates i would eat during heavy workouts and i did you know i would do my work i, I wouldn't yeah i would call it heavy i guess for some it wasn't heavy in terms of weight bearing it was heavy in terms of i'm shaking right and walnut uh, almonds and dates was what i did about 20 minutes into the workout so if my workouts were 40 minutes halfway in the workout I ate some of those and ch -ch -ch, finished the workout. When I got home, I ate more protein. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm already doing the great, great to see my uh, decisions seem to be right. Nice. Awesome, Quinn. I'm happy for you, man. Uh, Knights of Old Comics. Are you watching the new Westworld? Oh, has it started? I didn't know that. Episode. Oh, I didn't know that. I've seen it just started right there was two seasons i believe i want or one season I've, I've watched all of it up to yesterday i didn't realize there was a new new season came out if it has i'm glad i got the proxy size for t p b <laughs> glad to see you i don't like this weird amazon ad i get when i join your stream i it's beyond my control i think so anyway hype if you i believe if you sub you don't get it i think funny and sad story stan lee was going to come to salt lake comic con in 2018 but canceled the day of due to pneumonia oh i bought a uh, i bought a signature uh, i was gonna have him sign my ultimate number one he then passed less than a year later. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. That's okay. See your Mr. Olympia to 2025. Sorry, 2017, not 2018, 2017. Okay. Okay, help me out. Should I double text or not? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I, I think my gray hair is showing. I don't know what that means. My diet is high in protein and fat, very low in carb. Yeah. Do you, are you lifting weights, Martin? Episode two is season three premiere tonight. Oof. Thank you, Coolio. I'm pretty sure I know what I might be doing after this. No, I have some. Uh, I'm going through Star Blazers, by the way. I'm in three quarters of the way through Star Blazers anime. Fantastic. What a phenomenal series sometimes stanley's night signatures devalue comics since he signs uh, a lot of stuff really <laughs> call call memo says really what westworld is out that was my reaction what who where when can't wait let's hold each other okay i'm gonna scroll down a little bit more gang uh just because i want to stay up with the chat chicho the og star blazers or the, the og the original star blazers 1978 the, the cinematography in that amazing amazing the storytelling amazing amazing right and for me when i was watching it i was a kid when i was watching them right they were airing at 6 a.m in the morning so i would get up every morning try to get up every morning to watch star blazers i was so pissed when i would sleep in i miss star blazers because you would miss part of the story and at that time you couldn't watch the stuff there was no internet there were, you couldn't go to a store and rent them out to watch them they were being released on tv so if you missed it you missed it right so i haven't seen all the episodes of star blazers i think i rewatched it again i didn't but i didn't rewatch the whole thing so this is going to be the first time of me rewatching the whole thing in order. Phenomenal. 
nice speaking of anime did you try out demon slayer yeah or, or no i saw uh goblin slayer i watched goblin slayer not demon slayer and my, my hero academia i've watched the first season because that one was dubbed i want to see it dubbed and then the second season i think it's in the third season now right i haven't seen the second or third season but my hero academia is fantastic love it i haven't seen demon slayer i watched goblin slayer and goblin slayer was fantastic i don't think i watched demon slayer anyway i think i have samples of it you'll start growing out to it streaming a knights of old comic sampling Cretan will help but be safe i watch old demon slayer hilarious is it i think there's two movies of demon slayer and then the series is that the way it works we play a bit of rugby here cha -cha 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 -cha. chicho same with me it was hard to watch battle of the planets oh yeah and M messenger z and uh, grandizer very early i am very early i am and i watched some of the battle of the planets but it was star blazers was the one that i was really attached to man demon slayer is quite good cool chicho check out vinland saga it came out this year and has some characters based on real historic people it's a viking anime oh really cool Leo. can you post this uh, by the way if you have an uh, anime recommendation post them on our discord folder anime folder uh, that way everyone will know you know what some of the best ones are or what people are recommending so we can watch them right have you checked out jojo's bizarre adventures jojo's bizarre Adventures? and i don't think so no it's not Stu studio ghibli i know that that doesn't ring a bell regarding studio ghibli but ghibli does uh just movies i haven't seen it uh call member it was just very awkwardly dubbed the my hero academia was awkwardly dubbed i found it okay wait until next season oh so this one what's it called what just came out Vic oh viking anime vinland saga okay yeah i know i'm doing as much as i can safely can and i'm sure in uh, my future i'll be hardy ass okay cool yeah just be careful with weight coin just take your time you got lots of time and you don't want to bulk up fast you want to build dense muscles right you really want to build dense muscles okay and dense muscles take time they really do okay no demon slayer movie from the 80s no i haven't seen it i don't think so anyway i might have seen it a long time ago but i can't remember hello rich person how are you rich person <laughs> hope you're doing well <laughs> he doesn't know jojo oh chicho be careful as jojo's fan base is huge and the show is referenced in a bunch of other shows anime and not a really what is this jojo's sub greater than dub um no i disagree i like dub if dub is done right dub is amazing as for jojo gang please post this on anime folder that way i can i all know to find it okay and i disagree with sub greater than dub i love dub i want to see the imagery like the artist took a long time to create that imagery right and if you're not a speed reader um you're missing the imagery i mean just imagine watching samurai jack uh subbed right Sam if if you i mean in the original english language is amazing but i'm pretty sure there are actors right because that's what they get paid for voice actors to dub move dub anime right dub movies no because it's a person talking and the words are off right but dub anime right there are actors who do voice acting right so it's just the same profession as the people in their own language right i wouldn't want to watch samurai jack dubbed if it was in another language right because i want to watch the imagery samurai jack is some of the most beautiful imagery 
And Star Blazers is very much on that front as well. Thanks, Spider Man. And I respect yours. I know a lot of people that say no dub, sub only. You're taking your time, Quinn. Awesome. Awesome. Athlete X is the best YouTube channel for weightlifting. Cool. Well, shit. More power to you all. I'll assume I'm wrong. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Sub, uh, dub 70%, sub 30%. Uh, padre, to a certain degree, I agree. I've seen some anime that i couldn't watch it because the dubbing was too bad and i watched them watched them with subs right um i can't remember which ones because after after you watch them you, like seriously i you it's hard to remember if you watch them in dub or sub because your mind just mixes it all together for me anyway monohydrates akira was animated to the japanese voices dub uh look out of place does it look out of place i've I, i've watched akira in both and i didn't mind the dub either some dubs are amazing and the cowboy bebop dub is amazing uh samurai shampoo dub is amazing right uh <laughs> space dandy dub is amazing space dandy what a phenomenal series some dubs are amazing and some others are badly cast sub is great because it is in most cases how it is meant to be viewed but i get chicho's point i will watch based on how much i want to pay attention to the show yeah then x is one of the worst weightlifting channels ever is it quinn i do like some dubs though. yeah a lot of anime dub brian cranston did a lot of anime dubs in his early days macros plus nice and feel long in uh, street fighter did a fantastic job macros plus i like and i watched that in dub that's cool to know have you seen the movie parasite no not yet coolio not an anime no the korean one no but i've seen movies from the same director this came up before uh korean that won the oscar i think it was amazing despite the subs yeah uh, movies i watch i don't watch dub movies you can't watch dub movies subs only and I've watched a lot of international sub movies, right? I love international movies. And I've watched uh, at least two other movies from the same director. One of them being Snowpiercer. Another one was, I can't remember. I've seen a couple of, uh, actually more than a couple. I've seen a few Korean movies. They're pretty intense. Sisters was amazing. Um, yeah, there's a few of them. He did one with the, the monster one, I think. Have you seen the Marvel anime series? They did some Wolverine series. Uh, I've seen some. I haven't f watched the whole series of any of the new Marvel series, right? Uh, I've, s I've seen some episodes. I I don't mind them, but they're not as uh, mature as Japanese anime. And I like my themes to be a little bit more mature than what Disney is putting out. But I do like them, for sure right now i'm just a little bit more hardcore right the akira movie had two vastly different dubs does it the one i watched was amazing I'm going to watch westworld later uh don't get sick don't get sick enjoy westworld knights of old nicholas peace knights of old he says space dandy samurai shampoo and capital people all made by the same guy yeah and he is very into western culture so he picked good english voice actors yeah that's interesting he also did some old power rangers voices cool martin chicho i remind you of oh e d o e d o 808 what is that what is that i gotta look this up i don't know what that is martin what is that hey chicho sorry i'm late hold them hose who's how are you doing martin what is that at the uh, Castlevania anime series on your list. It's on Netflix. It's incredible. Very bloody. Oh, really? Ooh, nice. Nice. What is that, Martin? I gotta look this up now. I don't know what that is. What did you just type? OED. C oh, Cyber City. Oh, I don't know this one. I don't think I know this one. Uh, 
bubble gum uh, and geez the black lagoon is amazing dub version of black lagoon is fantastic i've watched black lagoon twice the whole series so good um what was the other one i mentioned uh bubblegum crisis so good so good bubblegum crisis dub is fantastic as well mistake is human to make a mistake is human to really f up you need a computer <laughs> nice creating a protein powder fire force dr stone i've watched a few episodes b stars also great picks from 2019 yeah uh, dr stone i've watched i think four episodes three or four episodes really good yep heard good things about uh castlevania nice city so boomer 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 am i a boomer randy according to the mathematics i am not are you a boomer ip2 ip2 was good ip man ip man 2 was good ip man 1 was good oh my god bubblegum crisis is incredible incredible so good underrated so it's and i don't know for some reason most people it hasn't hit their radar bubblegum crisis was amazing really so good man anime we talked about last year oh i totally forgot about it martin i don't think i have it no i gotta remember this one i think i pinned it gina oh yeah i just watched the new uh castlevania season it's awesome cool so gina was recommending castlevania awesome thanks gina what are some other good kung fu movies good kung fu movies oh there's so many uh look for shaw brothers shaw brothers kung fu movies 80 percent phenomenal okay and what uh come come drink with me come drink with me okay that is one of the greatest shaw brothers uh come drink with me i've seen this show uh this movie i don't know four times i'm pretty sure it's this one yeah it's this one here i'll give you the imdb link to it okay come drink with me shaw brothers absolutely phenomenal okay the the depth of that movie is incredible no chicho is like me generation x yeah is that what we're called martin we're gen xers <laughs> my beard is a boomer <laughs> my goatee is a boomer <laughs> anything with bruce lee anything with bruce lee enter the fist i literally have no clue what you're talking about right now but quinn uh shaw brothers are uh i believe it was a couple of brothers in the 1950s and 60s that they made they were the basis for the kung fu movies really and quentin tarantino based uh, you know uses a lot of uh the stuff they did there in his movies especially in kill bill just watched eight diagram pole fighter last night really really good cool oh there's uh one racing one which is absolutely incredible what's it called uh i forget what it's called so good boomer is from 1946 to 1964 yeah we're not boomers we're xers <laughs> kung pao so underrated top five comedy for me. yeah kung pao was funny do you mainly use imdb i rate every movie i watch on there yeah me too spider-man not everyone i no actually not everyone but a lot of them right gordon lou fought pai mao in shaw brothers movie in kill bill he played pai Ma pai mian yeah i didn't know that uh, dragons i didn't know that uh, that about it 
oh okay i don't really watch movies at all okay it, it might be too much like a uh, quinn it's a lot of magic involved in it xenials are basically proto millennials xenials are basically proto millennials oh i think that's there's a lot there gina <laughs> what are what are what age group is millennials 1964 to 1981 is gen x so millennials 1981 to 1994 okay so we're pre-millennials payway was bad man bad man millen millennials millennials me and my pronunciations crazy 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 what else we've, we've gone from <laughs> i guess everybody's burnt out of current events eh? <laughs> we're talking of course we all love anime so yeah 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 and movies applesauce very good i was told i was gen y until 1999 or so 83 yeah we always have those people who are in the middle of the two generations don't we who are a mix of both yeah it's and the age group is huge like 64 64 to 81 that's a huge range right i wonder if i can follow you on imdb i don't think there are user profiles you can follow i don't know i just i just rate it just to feed to the data and i've accumulated a fair bit of graphs and data for imdb that i planned on doing asmr math videos for but i didn't get around to it i made a made a spreadsheet and word file and i had all the data like fair bit but i still haven't got around to doing it so be it i guess right what's the topic we're talking current events but we've gone into anime and movies i'm a zenil 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 between x and millennial i believe zenil are 1977 to 85 that's a tighter range that's a better range uh gina it should be like 10 years is a long time like people with 10 years difference their mindset is totally different i think but you have to come up with the names for them i guess xenial i like that xenial i've never heard that actually before gina right now in school generations are like five years apart like grade 12s totally different than grade eights totally different they should make an anime about coronavirus <laughs> i mean trump would have to fight off all the press dragon i'm a carter baby and could go either way carter baby i don't know what that is generation z or as i call them the zoo 1994 i'm july 93 so millennial haha <laughs> 94 is still a millennial millennial anyone a fellow zoomer or is it just me zoomer 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 is just in the last 15 years eh quinn millennials gen y oh okay that's unofficial canon chicho that would be incredible i'd love to see some of uh, that data and if yeah i know i it blew me away because i would because if you look at by the way look at imdb right they have a disclaimer there the data that they present the ranking that they're giving something let's let's say something's ranked at 7.2 that's not just a mean 7.2 they're running filters through it and they have a little sentence in imdb if you click on the the numbers the votes they have a little sentence saying they're they're filt they're running their own algorithm to adjust for discrepancies or whatnot i've seen movies that i rank a 10 or a 9 that are ranked you know 6.4 or 6.5 and then i take the data 
and I run and I've actually done this. Right? I took the average of the data, the mean of them and stuff like this. I have I have I have equations going through it. I haven't got around to making a math video where I get a mean something with IMDB says, oh, the mean is, you know, 6.5 or something. They give it. I run the numbers. It's giving me 7.3. So they've kicked it down to the sixes. Meanwhile, I'm getting into the sevens, right? Manipulation of data, right? With the internet, the generations get smaller and smaller and smaller because the transmission of information is so quick. Yeah, pretty much. I'll always be making. Uh, yeah, someone born in 1970 and then in 1982. That's not the same generation. That's not the same generation. It can't be positive. Totally different. Totally different. These days, generations are separated by which products are in vogue. Yeah, pretty much the apps or whatnot, what platforms they're using. A generation is 25 years. It shouldn't be. I think a generation should be like seven years, let's call it. But not, an, uh, not in a group generation. So what decides the generation? It's just a definition they used, yeah? I'm going to scroll down. Nicholas, probably not on your news radar, but uh, Martin has probably heard or anyone else in the UK. A young girl, age seven, was stabbed. To death in an unprovoked attack by a 30 year old woman today in Queen's Bar. Oh my god, serious? That's crazy, Nicholas. Seven year old girl? What? Oh, I got kicked up. That's crazy. Oh, that's unfortunate to hear. Seven year old girl. I think we'll get to a point where this is all meaningless and someone cannot be lumped together anymore in any meaningful way. Yeah, I agree. It should be already meaningless, really. Like, look at us all. We've done this before. Call out your ages. 50, 51, right? We have people from 14 to 51 at least here talking. We've got people every, you know, in all ages. Martin, you heard that too. On a different note, I'm hoping that we will find some silver linings in the cloud that is this crisis. I think silver linings are there. Are there. For instance, we might find that parents do not send uh, their children back to the government schools. Perhaps that parents that was uh, doubting whether they are educated enough to homeschool the children will realize that they can make it work with love and dedication and close engagement. 100%. Catholic traditionalists 100% agree. I think homeschooling is going to kick up huge, huge, huge. I've noticed from written reviews on IMDb that regardless of the movie, everyone's ratings fluctuate so fluctuate so much. And now you put more emphasis on the written reviews than the the number on IMDb. Okay, twenty nine Nicholas, some solid ASCII. <laughs> Nick, listen, <laughs> I love Spider Man Band, though. <laughs> Funny, they're likely given a higher weight to professional reviewers, maybe. But I've seen, by the way, Gina, I've also looked at the data of the everybody, and then because if you click on IMDb, it gives you the distribution of the votes and then it, it has a secondary distribution where all votes and then member votes the top 1000 votes right in general the movies that i love the top thousand vote them way lower than the average of all viewers all people who have voted so to me that says the top 1000 reviewers on imdb suck ass right their their taste is crap because i've also seen the ones that i dislike they vote them higher so my guess is maybe the top 1000 reviewers on imdb are paid shills right so possibly i've done some preliminary number crunching on it <laughs> 
judging by the behavior of most people uh, through this crisis, I'm not sure I would trust most people with homeschooling and their kids. My thing is, there's a lot of kids that can teach themselves. Most most younger people are pretty good at finding information online. What's stopping them from educating themselves, right? With a little help, right? So many people would rather trust unsourced social media posts than what the medical uh, community is saying. Life lessons, people are going to get burned. I tried to delete the comment right away, but I don't know if I have all the tools. Coolio, sometimes it gets through, right? You're fast. I didn't, I didn't see anything. Never mind. I had mod settings off. Oh, you had mod settings off. Coolio. You are oh, you on PC and had that device definitely paid definitely paid that's my guess on the waterfront is a great movie on the waterfront with the uh, oh my god uh, Marlon Brando oh, on the waterfront is amazing legendary rock boss with Marlon Brando who is a boxer very good movie very good movie same level as uh, the hustler with uh, Paul Newman lurking while working so I can nip in haha <laughs> Nicholas it's late early in the morning for you same with you Martin you're like way early in the morning the problem is equipping these kids with the tools to evaluate the information they find agreed the man i've seen marlon brando thank you uh i've seen a lot of my students that are like in grade eight and nine and ten know more about what's going on in the world than their parents okay they don't get caught up in the programming chicho it was a uh, pixel <laughs> okay thanks martin for some reason every now and then we get those <laughs> pixel artwork they got a fetish they got a fetish right hate to be in their house though oof nasty artwork on the walls what time is it for you chicho for me it's 6 11 for me it's uh 10 11 so eight hours you guys are eight hours ahead quinn you're in uk as well quinn oh uk is 5 uh, 11 you're in uh pm oh you're in pm oh you're in pm Oh, you're in New Zealand, Australia, right? No, New Zealand. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So seven, uh, ten. So you, more, uh, UK is seven hours ahead, right? If I did that correctly. We're two hours ahead of Australia. You're two hours ahead of Australia. Okay, cool. Art, artwork, Coolio. <laughs> artwork. <laughs> Craziness craziness just after 4 p.m here in melbourne australia cool so this is a great time for you guys or it could be a great good time for you guys afternoon then well, it's a good time for anybody right now most people are locked in are you guys in curfew too in new zealand uh, or social distancing suggested in new zealand and australia that's 11 hours ahead for those guys what in australia 10 12 oh man i gotta sort this out started today social distancing it started today okay cool quad as of 4 p.m today victoria is locked down wow wow except critical things wow 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 they haven't locked us down yet but might be coming maybe maybe if people continue not to social distance manually they're, they're it's weird when people don't use common sense they're asking to be governed right and if you're asking to be ruled over you're a dingling i'm under military lockdown with 8 p.m total curfew wow military lockdown yeah frank unfortunate thing just imagine being under lockdown if there was no internet Oof. 
Serious question. Are you worried about looting, Chicho? Uh, no. Always be making? No, not at all. Zero. Where I am anyway, zero. Okay. Um, New York, uh, United States, different areas would have different problems. Um, if I was in the United States, I would definitely be have protection without a doubt okay I'm an awkward introvert and certain parts of Canada even right I have been social distancing for 46 years <laughs> Catholic tradition is so this is business as usual for you how do you feel about that social distancing I'm assuming Catholic Chicho that paperwork for wages payment from government was so easy was it easy Martin I thought you said it was going to be like 10 pages or something. Frank, worst, worst part is I'm in foreign country. If I get sick here, I'm screwed. Oh, you couldn't get back in time. I don't even speak. The, oh, Frank. You can't get out of there. Are you in Portugal or Spain or something? Where are you at? And where are you trying to get to? I'm downloaded book of downloaded book of proof. Oh, nice. To try to understand proofs. Awesome. I'm so sickened that the US hasn't locked down yet. Michigan went from 500 to almost 800 confirmed cases in one day. Yeah, Coolio. And that's their how many are they testing? They shut down the borders and airports with less than 24 hours. Oh man, you're in Peru. Oh, oof. you're in South America. Where are you trying to get to? Trying to get back to. Oh, dude. Crap. You can get out. Uh, be careful south america if it gets going there okay try to get back uh, even if it costs you a lot uh, it might be worth it and our governor expelled religious gatherings from from the oh what they 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 exempted religious gatherings i have no idea what her reasoning is uh, idiocy i guess she's trying to kill religious <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's, that's that's funny long but was simple to complete okay that's great Martin. easy peasy i hate bureaucracy i'd rather be in peru than new york city to be honest new york could be problematic the united states could be seriously problematic do you like any self dev books um door door nookie i really haven't read i don't think none of the books that i've read would be considered self-help books maybe c.s lewis books could be considered self-help i don't know utah went from nine to 181 in nine days in ireland there's talk of students having to retake the year no way they are in if there is lockdown for so much there's the internet the, what's the what's the hang up there's the internet there's lots of material online there's people teaching doing math streams online for free people should be able to get it done people have to understand you don't need a centralized education system to force feed propaganda into you you should be educating yourself right now you need to be proactive in your education if the system says you have to repeat the year find out what the final exam the, the material that the final exam covers learn it right now in the next few months and challenge the exam tell them no i'm ready to write the final exam send it to me right send it to me online or i'll go to a room by myself to write it to pass right don't take the word of authority to govern your lives govern your own life i had bought tickets when things got worse but those tickets were for march 18th and they announced the shutdown on ah oh, 15th effect and oh crap so my tickets got canceled frank sorry to hear that man can you go to the canadian embassy or something i heard the canadian embassy is not being very helpful they shut it down yeah we're waiting on repatriation flights at the moment frank that might be a while maybe uh it's in vancouver 
Vancouver could be seriously problematic. During the first stream that we did in January, I mentioned that Vancouver was going to be a hot spot, right? It could become a serious hot spot. Frankie, uh, Frank, where are you going to? Or which part of Canada? You don't care, to tell you the truth, but where, where do you need to go to? Just went to McDonald's. I hope I'm good. Ugh, I won't eat McDonald's. I touched the lady's fingers. I think you should be wor more worried about Big Macs. That stuff is nasty, man. Don't eat that stuff. That stuff will kill you long term. But how will they make money if you educate yourself? Ha <laughs> ha Exactly, Josie. Kids need to be educated at school and at home on their own terms. On their own terms. Might be nodding off soon. So shouting, please. Sweet dreams, Coolio. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic evening. Okay. Good luck, man. That sucks. Yeah. I went to pizza place earlier they are only taking card payments to avoid cut yeah there's a couple of places here that aren't taking cash as well um, crazy some people are saying one of the reasons this is happening is to eliminate cash right very very dangerous thing what book are you currently reading what book am I currently reading I'm I'm still reading there's one part of this uh, those of you who've been, who've been here before i've been reading wilhelm reich's mass psychology of fashion and i've been recommending this but i hit a chapter which i disagree with okay um greatly and the reason is it's uh it's based on sexuality and stuff like this it they don't take a fond view of uh, uh the mindset that it's in there they don't take a fond view of uh i don't know what you want to call it uh whatever alternate like aside from being male and female right it's crazy but it is it was written in 1940s 1930s originally right so it wasn't in their mindset at the time i'm pretty sure wilhelm reich changed this point of perspective in future years i know actually i know for a fact that he did i'm pretty 99 sure that he did right so can't hold hold uh and what else am I reading? I'm reading, um, I don't know. I'm reading a lot of comic books. I'm reading a lot of stuff online. Long, just staying up to date of what's taking place currently. Right. Also, they threw the pizza. They threw the pizza at you, Martin? Oh, because they didn't want to get close. Damn. I don't have a place in Canada. I was doing the digital nomad thing. Was going to travel full time normally live in toronto but i'm trying to get back to my parents near montreal been in Peru since early january oh frank you should have been our streams earlier a month and a half ago two months ago we started talking about this and a month and a half ago or so we said this is going to be problematic right and it's going to be a pandemic we, we could see that coming a mile away it was going to go global stay safe man stay safe my students have a very difficult time valuing education and learning that's 90 percent of my job trying to wake them up to understand why we do things yeah always be making by the way always be making when my students say the education system sucks i go 100 percent. it completely sucks i i agree with them i say it's a waste of time uh, it's prison uh, they'll be out of prison when they graduate high school i i agree with them and then i say that being said if you don't like it you can learn faster and challenge the test and finish high school as fast as you want or you can go through high school and use it as a social setting and learn the important things you need to learn in high school which is mathematics and english or natural language right but you need the piece of paper. So I agree with them that the education system completely sucks. It's horrendous. It's a prison pipeline, basically. But I emphasize the point that they need to get that piece of paper. And it's up to them how fast they can get it. They can go through it really fast or they can stay the term. It's up to them. So I give them the power. That's the way I treat my students, by the way. I'm going to scroll down a little bit coolio how does montreal not have any confirmed cases yet are they just not testing they don't have any confirmed cases is that what they're saying coolio maybe 
I doubt if they don't have any confirmed cases. That's, they're probably not testing. Or their medical system is... Like Montreal medical system in Quebec used to be amazing. They used to have house call doctors that went around and made house calls. This is in the 90s. Now, I don't think that exists. They took that, that out. Chicho, show, show us the way before the road was built. <laughs> we just looked at the numbers, man. Right. How old are you? What got you into Twitch? Willie, you're asking me? How old am I? I'm 51. What got me into Twitch? Uh, as soon as YouTube started rolling out the Google, when you, see, when you saw censorship rolling in, I figured out that I need to decentralize in a bigger way than I was doing before. And I wanted to live stream. And a friend of mine that they do some work with Twitch through uh, uh, Streamlabs, right? They said, hey, Chicho, get on Twitch uh, if you want to live stream. And I didn't want to put all my eggs in one basket and live stream on YouTube and have videos being loaded on YouTube only. I didn't want to be only on YouTube. When a platform starts censoring you, when any place starts censoring you, look for alternate ways of expressing yourself and being. And that's how I came here. And it was a learning curve for me. Right, I had to get a brand new laptop. I, I had to get the mic. We got the mic set up here, the cameras and stuff, and learn how to do all this stuff. And it took me a while to figure it out. But it's me, basically, I treat it as me educating myself to be here, right? And that's the way of, you know, how I find myself to be on Twitch, and I love it, right? And the community was extremely welcoming, extremely welcoming, right? It was the community, the mods, that told me to go on Discord, right? I didn't know Discord, so I went on Discord. Oh, fantastic, amazing, amazing, amazing. Learning curve, but amazing, 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 right? Never be afraid to put the work in to acquire more powers so you can do more, right? Nothing is hard. It just takes time, okay? Well, no, some things are hard. <laughs> Right. nothing is impossible it just takes time if someone else can do it you can do it right my parents created my high school diploma awesome legendary rob boss i'm pretty sure montreal has plenty of cases plenty plenty for sure they have yeah i'm gonna scroll down gang quebec healthcare is uh, garbage or it's great if you enjoy waiting 24 hours on the ER. Yeah. And here, Dr. Hate, Quebec used to have amazing health care. Really, they had house doctors that made house calls in the 90s, right? Late 80s, early 90s. Doctors that made house calls and then they gutted it, right? <laughs> Not all the platforms weren't, but thanks. <laughs> Just like China doesn't have any more cases, yeah, or any more death. By the way, in our table for COVID-19 that we're going to do in April, I froze the number of deaths that China was reporting, right? Because the numbers they're reporting is very minimal, and I didn't want to deal with it, so I froze that. So that one's going to be frozen, and we're doing, I changed the type of calculation we're doing to figure out the number of cases outside of China. Okay. How long did it take to buy all those books? Oof. I'm trying to fill my bookshelf and it's taking forever. Uh, don't be in a rush. Uh, Zinian face twitch, don't be in a rush. Uh, years, decades. And this isn't the only bookcase. There are books there, books there, books in other rooms and stuff like this. A lot of these books I bought, a lot of them were hand-me-downs. A lot of them were through the family, right? So don't be in a rush it's uh, yeah okay top fiver how are you doing we're so glad to have a chicho discord and twitch the discord is amazing and twitch is amazing i could never repay no you no, no payment uh, appreciated uh, no appreciated payment appreciated but required okay discourse is difficult to get yeah initially it's difficult to get and now it's it, but once you get it it's just another uh what do you call it uh it's like the old school 90s the chat rooms 
is a chat room, right? That's what Discord is. To me, it's like the old school chat rooms that I used to be on in the late 80s, early 90s. It's really good. I like it. Coolio. What was the thing on the Discord you mentioned earlier about the fatality rate was mortality? Uh, supposedly, if you look at the definition, mortality rate is per thousand, right? Fatality rate is per hundred. So fatality rate is the actual percentage but mortality rate is per thousand so when they say if they say fatality rate of nine percent that means nine percent nine out of a hundred right if they say mortality rate of nine they mean nine out of a thousand right discord is easy for me in my opinion it was hard to get initially for me really i had to wrap my head around it right and then i realized oh it's just the chat room for us our own our own personal chat room fantastic we can create folders fantastic oh my god awesome i think it literally is more reliable numbers on what to expect but who knows yeah in the western world anyway because people are having learned their lesson of what's taking place in uh in italy dr hey chicho uh and how and now we probably have the worst healthcare system in the west cost and effectiveness quality of service waiting times i really can't see how it could be worse here now uh it could get worse doctor doctor hate really it could get really really worse be careful hello brennan the founder similar to irc yeah hey chicho odd nick how are you doing welcome welcome it's early for me guess it's late for you it's getting yeah it's 10 30 we're almost we're basically at the end of the stream odd nick good morning by the way this course feels like more refined um a i am i forgot what i am stuff for love it i'm definitely a 90s kid chicho i will patreon you soon thanks martin by the way gang this is my patreon page if you want to support this work is a great way to support this work or subbing following sharing and all that jazz and talking with us right we're live streaming on twitch because we're going to be loading this up on bit and youtube and i announced this on twitter gap mines vk lo decentralized decentralized and these are the two platforms that i'm loading up on right now youtube and bit okay where these videos get loaded onto and uh remember remember in these times you want to flatten the curve right social distancing is a good thing right now do not overwhelm your healthcare systems no matter where you are that is my public service announcement for tonight right and for the next few nights i believe okay how about we call the stream gang are you guys cool oh hepcat Epcot. Would would you call the swine flu the American virus? Right? Because it originated from the United States. Is that what was that what you would do, Hepcat? Silly, silly, silly. Right? Silly, silly, silly. Okay, gang. Let's call the stream. Tomorrow, tomorrow, comic books. Comic books. Okay. I'm gonna bring my at least six small boxes down and just show you some of the comics that i bought over the last couple of years i have a whole section it's more than six short boxes but we'll start off with six maybe seven or eight and uh in a couple hours we'll see how many we go through okay i figured uh, because what i've done because of covid19 and we're going to lockdown and you know in times like this save make sure you're not overextending yourself right you if you need to save some funds save some funds okay you have some spider-man stuff i'm pretty sure there's spider-man stuff there <laughs> i'm pretty sure there is right so if if you're strapped for cash and stuff reduce your expenses right so i have to reduce my expenses a little bit so might as well go through the comic books we've bought over the last couple of years two three years or so right and we'll do this one we'll see how far we get and maybe later on we do again 
Ah, oh, you're very welcome, Nicholas Spiderman. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for being here. Coolio, thank you for taking care of business, everyone. Chat, uh, thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the recommendations. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Okay. I, have, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Ta -da. Nice. Thanks, Nicholas. That one at the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it. 8.30 p.m. my time. And we have a few more streams lined up for the next week. Okay. Bye for now. Bye, everyone.